What is going on guys today? We are looking at Rule Breaker Denea. 64,000 coins, 284 rated squads to complete. Is he a bad player? Let's find out. So let's get into the in-games, see how he did. So going into Denea, he is the Belgium centre-back and we did get a, I want to say it was a team of the group stage right at the end, a 92 rated, I want to say it was a showdown card. It was um, during the end of FIFA 20 and to be honest, he's not a bad player. He's had a little bit of an upgrade on his pace, on his defending and then on his physical when he's lost three or plus three off his dribbling. So to be honest, not a bad deal, to be uh, to, to be fair. He did lose free composure, which will have an issue later on. I feel like the composure stat is the one of the most important that you'll find because literally you cannot get it up. There is no chemistry style that gets the composure up anymore. So that is what he is stuck with for the rest of the game. There's no upgrade. There's no nothing like that. So that for me is always a key point to have a look at because if you've got like a 50 composure or a 70, Anyone with 90 plus is always going to trump him, in my opinion. We're going to find someone with 81 pace, 84 defending, and 88 physical in literally a couple of weeks. There's going to be another special card. And what will trump it for me is a yes, the all round kind of stats, the passing, the dribbling, all of that together, but mainly that composure. In terms of his stats, though, we've got 81 pace with 79 acceleration, 83 sprint speed. That, for me, is not terrible. We can use a shadow to get that up, and that will turn him into a 91 pace center back, which we'll have a look at. And we have got 84 defending, 88 physical, which is absolutely cracking. For two SBCs, seven, uh, 65k worth of value, I personally think that's relatively good. Obviously, only being 84 with plenty of other options out there. I don't know how many people will complete him. I'm personally seeing this from a icon swaps kind of perspective. Plus, I do have a red Lopez, so that obviously works very nicely in my favor. We get the the, the strong link there because obviously both of them play for Leon, and then we can go ahead and move him out to another player. We have um, a one to watch Florenzi. We have. Um, Aurier in the midfield. Hopefully he does get a couple of informs. We've got a nice little kind of triangle going on there. And then we have um, other players that will come into it later on in the game. Marquinhos more than likely will get an inform. You could whack Mbappe as a CDM if you really wanted to. We get a nice little link there with the meta players. There is plenty you can do with him. In terms of Belgium links, Nine Golem comes to mind. KDB comes to mind. And then we've got like the left wing as Hazard obviously doesn't get a link with him. But there is a potential there that you could put, um, put in somewhere closer. I don't know if he gets a CDM card, a CM card that you can whack or a striker, I mean, to a CDM, that is. Um, he is a two-star skiller with a, with a three-star weak foot. He is right-footed, standing at six foot tall with a high, medium, defensive to attack and work rate. In terms of body type, he's average. And overall, he's an okay player. He's got a great tackle on him. Really good physicals, and I did notice that big upgrade in the physical side of him. Very, very strong. In terms of turning, not the greatest. 66 agility, 58 balance. I think that is a little bit lower than what I'd want. I think you could get away with maybe 65 on both. And that, again, all then depends on how that guy plays. For me, he's a little bit slow on the turn. Does have a little bit of a problem with his acceleration. But if you do whack a shadow, you do get 89. It's just for me, even if you put the chemistry style on, it's almost how I say it is like a, a fake pace increase. It is makes him quicker, obviously. But if you had a 91 centre back compared to him being a 91 centre back, you will always find the guy with the base 91 will always seem faster. It's just how it works. If you put a walker there as a centre back inform card, he will always seem faster, even if he has the exact same pace animations, how he's built, and just how he is in, in terms of coding into the pace of the game. That, for me, is, is just one of the, the points that I always think. And it does make sense to me, really. It does turn him into an 89 rated centre back, though. That is a pretty good, pretty good chem style. I think it is the the one and only choice, really. I don't think you need any more physical, but adding the pace and the defending is a nice little trait to get. So let's get into the gameplay and see how we got on in foot champs. 
So we did play him alongside Varane. And then we had Florenzi on the right, Mendy on the left, and Lopez in the middle. Honestly, he just takes out fires, really, constantly intercepting, really putting a, a kind of shift in to win that ball back. We see a couple of kind of agility saves where he's kind of like blocked the, the, the rebound off, which is always nice. And we've always there for the physicality of him. I don't think anyone bullied him off the ball too much, if anything. And just in general, really good we see here as he comes in, manages to get that flick. Literally, if he doesn't get that flick, the guy's got him. He's got the rebound. It's an open goal for him. It's simple. And you'll see kind of like this. He's jockeying with him. Still feels un like quick enough to be able to do to be able to keep up with him, but still managing to kind of make his composure and get that tackle off. And that's really all I want him for. Icon swaps will be the kind of main reason I think everyone will kind of go for this card if you do just because you have then a league on center back with Kashoni and Denea as two special first owners and that already puts it in the good stead obviously if you've got Lopez as a red card or an inform there's another one right there and then you're kind of just thinking about the rest of the team I've got Florenzi already first owner left back I don't think I've really got anyone, but I don't think there's a huge amount on the left back position. But overall, I think he did well in foot jams. Didn't notice too many mistakes. Like I said, the main thing for me, just a bit blocky. So going into the overall for him then. 64k as we see. Let's just double check that nothing's gone up. 65, it's 64, 65, depending on the market. 58 on PlayStation. Like I say, pretty good there. Trait wise, none. Unfortunately, generations of him, or we go into reviews of him. That's what I'm doing. Um, oh, we've gone off him now. This is just awful. When I go into... Uh, into the full screen as well there's no back button as well but we go into obviously the generations of him started at celtic managing to get himself a cheeky bronze in form there he had a little spell at city galatasaray sunderland back to galatasaray man city then to leon getting himself his first scream card in fifa 19 with a man of the match card and then we get pretty much just a team at a group stage so he's already kind of outbeat him while he's done normally it's one special card of fifa so hopefully we do see more of him i think he's a good player but i think it's going to be one of them ones i feel like a lot of people will miss miss really i don't think people will really want to go for him in terms of strong links lopez is one to par you could whack a cdm i suppose if you really wanted to our our you know who i'm on about him if he manages to get a couple of informs obviously a great link there in terms of weak links or in terms of league on players if we, we got courtois as well quality keeper to link him to if we go into the league on side of it and go into defenders uh, right here as we can see Kashani was one personally I've got him which is good if you went with Bernat you've got a nice link there kind of an outlet to Spanish league we have Marquinhos who hopefully will get a few informs Florenzi Kamara's a rule breaker Amavi's not terrible again Kimpembe would be a nice one if you can actually get him um, in an informed version or something like that. And that's really about it. Other than that, we're kind of looking for big upgrades, some big, big upgrades. And I just don't think that's coming just yet. So by the time that does happen, will he be relevant enough to be able to be in the squad? That's something that you'll obviously decide. But you've always got to remember, it's a 70k card. Do you want to be spending that on him and kind of risking it as such? Let's just click back onto him. And in terms of like a shadow, I think shadow 100% wins the vote. I don't feel like there's any other chemistry style that really you'd want on him. It does turn him into an 89, which is fantastic, but he does feel a little bit bulky still. Still got that kind of slow turn on him. But when it does comes to tackling, if you can jockey and defend really well, he's got a crack and tackle on him. And I think that's what I've kind of like led in the reviews of the ratings. I've got 8.5 on his defending, 9 on his physical, and then 8 on his pace. Everything else is kind of like on the lower side. And it's obvious he's only an 84. So to have them sort of stats in an 84 card is very nice. And obviously, if we do have some kind of live foot friendlies with rating requirements again, he's a nice card to look to. Not too high, but definitely has some good stats to kind of back with it as well. Overall, I've given him an 8 out of 10. I feel like the SBC price is, it's good. I, whether I'd say it needs to be cheaper, I think 60k, 70k is pretty... It's pretty decent in comparison to everything else we've had. I don't feel like it's too much. The chemistry maybe could have been dropped 70 and 75, but there is no inform requires, so obviously that's not too bad. In terms of alternatives, inform Delaney's quite a nice centre back in the BVB. He's obviously got Rob, uh, rule breaker Jimenez, another one that's had an increase on his pace and then his defending and physical kind of lineup as well. Plenty of centre backs. There is a lot of centre backs out there that you want to have a look at. Um, in terms of, if 
if I go center backs, if I can go, oh, I can't go from here. So if we go to players, for instance, and we have a look at center backs, wherever they are. In terms of what we've got here, then, obviously, you've got the, the big one with Virgil, 400k. You, you probably won't want that. If we go down a little bit and we have a look at some of the kind of more meta ones, Varane, 260 would always recommend 500 for Walker, which is incredible. Uh, we also have, if we go a little bit further down into more of the meta kind of cheaper players, Leng uh, Longley, not a bad one. Again, stat wise, very similar, to be honest. So I could imagine he would be. Um, and then if we go to someone like Militao, we look at someone like. Trying to find some of the ones that I'm thinking of. It's kind of the low rated ones. Gomez is obviously a cracking one. We then also have Umti, not not really. Diego Carlos, I think he's a good centre back. And you get my drift. There is quite a few lower rated, but still as good centre backs for prices maybe just over or just under with Diego Carlos. So overall, he's not a bad centre back, but I think there is plenty of options out there if you're looking to increase your team rather than icon swaps. For icon swaps, 100% worth it. For actual team, there's better out there. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button and I'll see you all again. Cheers.